Here we go, guys. Wow. What a game. What a complete turnaround uh, from the last couple of weeks. Uh, this is what uh, I really can't get upset. I, I, I really can't. Uh, this is, I had a bad feeling about this game. I said it in my live stream halftime. And um, no ifs, ands, or buts. We got our asses handed to us. Yeah. That, that's what happens when you come to a game and you're already mentally checked out and you're already ill prepared. You can tell. Congratulations to the Buffalo Bills. They had an agenda and they stuck to it. They look like a perfect team tonight. We made them look like a perfect team tonight. Yeah. That's what the Dallas Cowboys did. They made the Buffalo Bills look like the best team in football. And when you don't, when you don't study for a test, this is the analogy I used in my halftime. When you don't study for a test, you're going to fail that test. And the Dallas Cowboys failed us themselves and against the Buffalo Bills tonight. They got embarrassed, exposed. We, us as Cowboy fans, we needed to see this tonight. We needed a game like this, almost a playoff atmosphere. Yeah, when you're on the road, you're playing against a hungry team that don't want to go home. That's a playoff atmosphere. When you play up against an a, play, a team like this, it's a dangerous team to face because they're hungry. They've done their homework. They've studied. They studied you up and down. They know your strength and your weaknesses. They watch other teams face you. They get paid to watch film and get prepared for the Dallas Cowboys on how to beat us. And that's what they came and they did. Yeah, they were ready for this test today. And they studied, and they passed. So good job, Buffalo. You did exactly what you were supposed to do to win a football game. That's how you play football. Tonight, the Dallas Cowboys didn't play football. They did so many things wrong tonight. They fucked up. <laughs> they got beat every which way tonight. They got beat offensively. They got beat defensively. Special teams, coaching, personnel. Everything. We were horrible tonight. Yeah. So, I'm glad that I witnessed this. I'm glad we all witnessed this tonight because we need to know who the real Dallas Cowboys are going into postseason play if we make it to postseason play. If. Yeah. We got spoiled the last couple of weeks, didn't we? Yeah, playing at home, you know, having a safety net. Yeah. Uh-huh, beat the Eagles last week, one of the best teams in the league. Mm-hmm. We got spoiled, but we're playing against a team that was hungry. And they showed us. They brought us back down to reality. Yeah, so we needed to see that, guys. That was an eye-opener right there. Mm -hmm. We need to see that because we need to know who the real Dallas Cowboys are. And we found out tonight. So we got Miami next week. And guess what Miami's doing, guys? Guess what they're doing and guess what they're going to do Monday morning? We're going to watch film. Yeah. Monday, Tuesday. Monday is always film day. Yeah. Then later on in the week, maybe Wednesday, Thursday, they're going to look at this game that we played tonight. They're going to say, hey, guys, look at the Buffalo Bills. Look at how they lined up. Look how disciplined they are. Look how fundamentally sound they, the Dallas Cowboys made them look. This is how you stop the Cowboys. Yeah. Losing Zach Martin didn't help. Best, best, best guard in football, arguably. Lost Zach Martin. I'm pretty sure he'll be back next week, but we so didn't need him tonight. Yeah. So for those diehard, gang-banging, drive-by-shooting cowboy fans out there, how do you feel right now? If you don't like what I'm saying, I don't know what to tell you. But my job, my job as a Dallas Cowboy fan is to talk analyze, review about what I just witnessed. So please, 
please don't get mad at me because I'm not out there playing. Yeah, don't get mad at me because I'm, I'm not just making anything up just for views and super chats and all that bullshit. I've, I've always been real and straight up, win, lose, or draw. And today, we got our asses whooped. Bottom line, no ifs, ands, or buts. We got beat. Plain and simple. Through all aspects of the game. So now, the Dallas Cowboys got to go back and regroup, take this ass whoop and get on. That's going to be a long plane ride home. Yeah. Yeah. The problem with this team, and I've been saying this over and over, month after month, no, week after week, month after month, year after year, for 27 years, I've been saying that this team has a discipline problem. They lack the faith, the basic fundamentals that it takes to win close games, hard, tough games like this. Discipline goes a long way. And when you're not a disciplined team, you make mistakes. You fail. Here come the penalties. Now you got the refs involved. That's how we lose ball games, guys. It doesn't take a genius to realize that. So you can put paint on your face. You can go to every game. You can spend your hard-earned money on parking tickets. I mean, parking tickets, uh, 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 tickets front row, food, concession stands. Yeah. That, that don't win Super Bowl. That don't help the Cowboys win Super Bowls. It hasn't helped yet, has it? No. Because we're not out there playing, guys. We're not coaching. We're not firing or hiring. We're just fans. No fan is greater than the other. And being a fan don't win Super Bowls. It takes them to do it. So how long are we going to sit back and wait? How long are we going to be okay with having a good record in the regular season and then one and done in the playoffs? How long are we going to be okay with losing against teams that we should beat? You got to ask yourself those questions while you're spending your hard-earned money. And they give you a performance like that. Not too happy, is it? Not too cool, is it? Yeah. But that's all I got, man. There's going to be somebody that's not going to like what I said. And guess what? I don't give a damn. Because they're not my concern. My concern is with the Cowboys. I'm concerned about them again. Make sure you stay cowboyed up and prayed up. Because you never know what the day is going to bring you. How about your boy? All right.